there's a reality in marketing and content that is rarely talked about, which is how the content creator looks. We talk a lot about racism, sexism, ageism, ableism, and those are all real. But very few people talk about lookism. So I want to talk a little bit about that in this video today. The truth is that every, every person was born uh, with above average or below average looks, how our face is, right? Some people win the genetic lottery and they just look gorgeous, they look handsome without really trying much, even if their hair isn't great or whatever, they just look, their face looks nice and people like looking at them. And it's much easier for them to gain Instagram followers, Facebook fans, um, YouTube subscribers, uh, etc. Even if you, even even blog subscribers, if they just have a nice, nice-looking image on their on their blog uh, about me page or whatever. So, what about the rest of us, like myself? I come to terms long time ago that you know I I I'm probably average, if best, in terms of looks, <laughs> probably below average. You know, I've um, at my age, for my age, I have a lot of wrinkles. Um, I don't have the most proportionate face, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the way that I've been able to really think, really, you know, come to terms with it, accept it, is to realize that my fans are looking deeper than than my looks. That's not why they're here. I'm not George Clooney. <laughs> I'm George Cow, right? And if you are also feeling the same way that you know, you're at a disadvantage because you don't look as hot as somebody else. Just know that you will draw fans to you who are going to look past that. In some ways, it's actually a good thing that you're drawing deeper connections instead of people who are, are more kind of looking at you in a shallow way. Um, so uh, those who are, who, those who do have the genetic um, blessing of looking good, well, you have an even greater responsibility to, you know, make your message, make your content of real value rather than just how you look. Because if you are relying too much on looks, um, your fans will one day leave. If somebody hotter comes along, plenty of people and that they can find that are, that are even hotter and, and their message is even better. So no matter how we look, First of all, to admit that, you know, why does somebody have more fans? Well, lookism is a real thing. But rather than lament about that, we can come to terms and accept that our fans, our true fans, are here because of our, our authentic energy and our authentic message. And if we stay, um, if we do the diligent work of always continuing to improve ourselves, our message, and to show up with more authenticity and with more caring, then we will build enough fans who um, will, you know, comment and like our messages and share it forward, and and we'll we'll do just fine. So despite lookism, we can make it work in this very image-driven society by caring, continuing to care more than others are willing to care.